Matthew 25, verse 31 to 34. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the glory, only angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. 32. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them from one another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. Mark that word. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. 33. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on the left hand. On the left, 34. Then shall the king say unto them, On his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Spirit of pride, arrogancy, and stubbornness in my Christian life. Spirit of pride, arrogancy, and stubbornness in my Christian life. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. Today's topic is dream about goats dream about goats well the bible has said that the sheep will be on the right hand side while the goats will be on the left hand side <laughs> for god to put a separation or division between goats and sheep there is a reason and the reason is that a sheep is an animal that is very humble. It's an animal. It's an animal that is very meek, gentle. It's an animal that are very obedient. But when we are talking about goat, the characteristics of a goat is stubbornness, aggressiveness, troublesome. Bible makes us to understand that the spirit of a goat. It's a spirit of a stubborn Christian, troublesome Christian. In the house of God, you will see some set of people. They are, they are the spirit of goats. Once they are there, people will know they are there. They are not there for positive reasons. They are there for negative reasons, just to create sin and all that. The Bible put them as a spirit of goats. May you never have that goat spirit or characteristics in Jesus' name. Goats are very amazing creatures. They can thrive and survive anywhere, unlike sheep. Goats are very close to human beings. That is why they are very domestic. Goats are very troublesome and very aggressive. That is, they don't hear word at all. It is true that goat can steal from the sweat of a person. It is true that goats, goats don't listen to anybody. Praise the living Jesus. So, in some cases, God used goats to symbolize evil. In the Bible, in the book of Zechariah chapter 10 verse 3, the Bible says, it says, it will punish the goats. In the spirit realm, a goat in your dream may represent a certain spirit. A goat in your dream may represent a certain character. A goat in your dream may represent a certain thing. It may stand as a blessing blockers. Are you seeing goats frequently in your dream? As a goat dream leaves you with frustration and pain, how does the dream about goat end it? Do you feel the goat is a winch or the goat is a blessing to you? If yes is your answer, then goat in your dream indicates stubborn witchcraft attack. Well, there are several spiritual meanings behind goat. Goat, number one, represents the spirit of scattering. Goat in your dream represents the spirit of disobedience. Goat in your dream represents the spirit of prayerlessness. 
Goat in your dream represent the spirit of stubborn battles. Goat in your dream represent the spirit of adverse arresters. Goat in your dream represent the spirit spirit of backsliding. A dream about goats tells you that you are dealing with aggressive and difficult people. A dream about goat warns you of an impending trouble coming in the near future. A dream about goat tells you that you as a person, you are very stubborn, meaning that you don't adhere to instructions and warnings. Praise the living Jesus. So if you see goats more frequently, then the enemy wants to disgrace you. May your enemy never disgrace you in the name of Jesus Christ. So in some cases whereby God is staring at you, when they are staring at you at that point in time, that means that the enemy is looking at a way to strike you. Looking at you means they are monitoring you. Looking at you means that they are looking for the best way to strike in your life or your destiny. When God is attacking you, that is the range of the household powers. When God is attacking you, it means that somebody is praying witchcraft prayer on your life. When God is attacking you, it means that this spirit, this environmental power, domestic witchcraft, they are really dealing with your destiny. When God is attacking you, it means that some powers or some enemies, somebody that you know, they want to frustrate your life and they want to bring you down. This can come from your household, can come from your foundation with your father's house, can come from your friends. The battle is coming from them. They want to make sure that you did not end well. Praise the living Jesus. When God is pushing you, it means that uh, the enemy wants to arrest you. They want to imprison you. They want to enslave you. They want you to pass through the way other people are passing through. Definitely they are pursuing you and you are running. Means that you are trying to get to the place of your fulfillment, but they want to bring you back. But if you are the one pu pursuing the goat, it means that you are praying some kind of prayer that is dealing especially dealing with your enemies. In some cases whereby in some cases whereby you are seeing dead goats, a dead goat in your dream. You don't know who killed that goat, but the goat died on its own. That can represent a bad domain. It means that you are about to lose some certain things that is very important to you. A goat died in your dream. A dying goat represents a a dying goat represents a dying business. A dying goat represents a dying power. A dying goat represents a dying personality. So you have to know the, the, the emotion you attach to that dying. Because there are some cases whereby a goat will die in someone's dream. And when somebody wake up, it is bad news. Ah! Somebody has died though. Somebody has died though. They are the power. They have used the destiny of that goat as an exchange to get at somebody's destiny. Any power that wants to use the, the destiny of a goat in order to exchange your virtue today, they just surrender and die in the name of Jesus. In some cases whereby you are killing a goat, if you are killing a goat, it means that you are trying to find out why your enemies, they are dealing with your life. But you are killing a goat, it means that uh, you are trying to deal with these domestic powers in your environment. When you are seeing a pregnant goat, a pregnant goat means that uh, there is an issue in your family and that thing has been waging war against your family. So that pregnant goat means that God is about to release your family from that bondage because in that body of that goat, it is an issue, a problem. So as long as that goat give birth, it means there will be freedom in that family. In some cases whereby you saw a car eat a pregnant goat and a pregnant goat died. If you are a pregnant woman and you had that kind of dream, it means the enemy want to puncture your pregnancy, meaning that they want to cause miscarriage. But you never have miscarriage in Jesus' name. In some cases whereby you saw a loose goat, maybe you, they, they, they cage the goat and you find a loose goat, it means that um, your enemy have escaped. In some cases that even there are some powers, they will capture, they will 
tie down a goat and that great goat can represent you that goat can represent once a, a, a peculiar marriage or finances but when you find out that a, a, a goat lose himself and you wake up from that and say god i thank you for the deliverance then it tells you that god has delivered you from this stubborn power that have grip over your life so in a, in a nutshell it means god has delivered you from certain problems praise the living jesus so if you are seeing goat in your house it means that um, a spirit of the spirit of disobedience the spirit of pollution a spirit of witchcraft adverse arresters has come into your life the spirit that makes sure that no good things will ever come out from that home or from that family you have to deal with them it's praise the living jesus if goat is digging digging the ground it means that the enemy they are trying to find some information about you all these household enemy stubborn witchcraft they want to dig into the affairs of your life they want to find out the source of your life the source of your happiness they are domestic powers when goat is biting you that is the spirit of prayerlessness that is the spirit of stubbornness and anger so when god is biting you it means they have transferred that spirit of sin in your life when god is biting you it means that they want to scatter your finances when you are seeing a sick god a sick god means that uh, you are sick spiritually a sick god means that something is not going on well with you a sick god means that somebody in the family is falling ill you need to pray for that person a god is running and escaping that is the spirit of deliverance and freedom when you are seeing a white goat a white goat means that the spirit of the spirit of righteousness that white goat means you because a goat represents a bad spirit a disobedience and a stubbornness but that white goat means that you are trying despite the fact that you are having that kind of spirit in you you want to take away those spirits away from you because you are a kind of person that you never had to somebody's information instruction you are always working on your own decision so you are trying to remain humble and meekness so that whatever you are expecting from god can come when you are seeing a black goat a black goat represents sin a black goat represents unforgiving you're having that unforgiving spirit a black goat represents the spirit of wrong environment you are dwelling in a wrong environment the black gold means that uh, you are having a destructive habit and that thing has been causing issues in your life and in your destiny. Praise the living Jesus. When you are cashing a gold, it means that you are going to excel and succeed or prosper in life. When you are seeing somebody using gold as a sacrifice, it means that they want to use that gold as a, as a form of caging your life and put you in perpetual bondage. Praise the living Jesus. When you are feeding a gold, it means that uh, you are feeding on your character. You are working on your character. You are working on your character. When somebody is telling you some things, you do not want to obey. You do not want to listen to what other people are telling you. You are doing what you feel it is right and which is not good as a Christian. You have, must have the listening ears. You must be obedient to what people are telling you. When you are seeing a lot of good, it means you are having a lot of problems. In your life in your marriage it means that you are having some obstacles some restrictions in your environment that has made you not to fulfill your destinies when you are seeing goats eating your food it means this power they want to eat your sweat and they want to eat your profit and your reward praise the living jesus when you are seeing goat head a goat head means that um, you you are you are being supervised by this demonic authority and they are the one controlling and manipulating your life they are goat head it means that they are really dealing with you praise the living jesus when you are seeing goat grazing that is the spirit of scattering they want to scatter your life when you are making a goat it means that you are trying to extract from the well of your salvation and making a goat means that you want a new life a new beginning a fruitful life in your life and you want god to change away certain things in your life that has been bringing problems between you and man and god and which is the spirit of humility because make represents meekness and purification when you are seeing a chain goat or a cage goat it means that your life has been a part of your life has been imprisoned has been caged and that's the reason why you are facing some kind of difficulties 
and problems in rising up on time. When you are seeing a baby goat, a baby goat means that uh, you are having some issues in developing yourself on time and that thing is causing a lot of problem in your life. When you are seeing a goat horn, a goat horn means that uh, you are under some ancestral idols and powers. When, we, when, you are, when you are seeing a friendly goat, a friendly goat in your dream, it means that uh, you have to be very, very careful with the way you deal with some certain deceptive and betrayer people, envious enemies. They are friendly to you, but secretly they are dealing with you. But you never have that kind of friends in Jesus' name. And when you are dreaming about goat, it can also mean that um, you, are ha you are having that spirit of slavery. When you are dreaming about goat, that can bring financial failure and that can scatter your marriage. When you are dreaming about goat, if you are planning to marry and you are dreaming about goat, it, mean that it means that your man or your wife may have that difficulty in obeying to whatever you are saying. If you are a leader and you are dreaming about goat, it means that you have some goat subordinate, stubborn subordinate. They do not want to listen to your rules. So when you are dreaming about goat, it means that you are existing on an ungodly foundation and wrong environment. May the Lord help you and deliver you from this ancestral attack and domestic witchcraft that has been oppressing and suppressing your life in Jesus' name. So what are the way out? The way out is to give your life to Christ, run away from sin and confess them. Use the blood of Jesus Christ to chase away witchcraft, domestic witchcraft. Scatter the witchcraft network over your life. Learn to be obedient and submissive. Destroy the evil flow of battle flowing into your life from your neighbors. The instruction. The instruction is to embark on seven days fasting and prayers. Pray for God to change you and give you that spirit of humility. Give you that spirit of love. Give you that spirit of victorious. Praise the living Jesus. Close your eyes. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say every evil monitoring and anti adverse spirit. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Every evil monitoring and anti adverse spirit. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every stubborn enemy assigned to disturb my life. You are a failure. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every witchcraft power assigned against my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, Oh Lord, give me the spirit of obedience. Give me the spirit of humility. Give me the spirit, spirit of gentleness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are taking that prayer point, congratulations. The Lord will deliver you from this ancestral attack and household spirit that have been troubling your life in Jesus' name. If you have a dream about God, write them at the comment section. I have a book, Biblical Dream Interpretation with Warfare Prayers. It's on Amazon as we speak live. You can get it on ebook very soon. Our paper book will be, on, will be live very soon. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.